Solutions via housing, we are working to create a more humane world where poverty is alleviated, communities, towns, cities are healthy, and all can develop their full potential. I believe that affordable, supportive housing can improve the economic status of people, transform neighbourhoods, and stabilise lives. In relation to eviction, which taps into my own Irish story of evictions and famine emigration, when tenants in their thousands could not pay their rent, they were evicted by the landlords. And at that time, over half a million people left Ireland. In many cases of evictions around the world, impoverished families are victims of violations of their human rights to land and housing. Women are the majority of victims affected by these removals. Each year, millions of people are threatened by eviction or forcibly evicted, often leaving them homeless, landless, and living in extreme poverty. Forced evictions are a gross violation of human rights, especially the right to adequate housing. In relation to extractive industries, all of us continue to be concerned about the negative impact on extractive industries. Extractive industries is a major contribution to climate change and affects the health of our communities. Many countries with high levels of natural wealth resources also have high rates of income inequality. In addition to water pollution from the drilling earthquakes and air pollution from being cracked gas, the industry also presents risks to the communities nearby where large groups of male workers can cause increases in prostitution and sexual abuse. In relation to land grabbing, a Uganda farmer once said, my land gives me everything, now I'm one of the poorest. Land grabbing is the closure of 